up breath stinking all of that and this wasn't really a video I was planning to kind of make but I think it's a video I had to make and it's about all round content creation on social media because a lot of people asked me to do it and I thought does anybody care what I have to say who's really listening to David but at the end of the day when I think about it who's really any better than David so who's more qualified to kind of talk about it than David alright cool we didn't get into selfish as you can see but we found another spot to create an amazing image you know because that's what we do that's what we do so when he's here we don't fail you know what I'm saying I couldn't record in a place because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. I'm trying to feed my son, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was all kind of still a little nice aesthetic. Very, very, very American vibes, you know what I'm saying? But, jeez, uh, probably by the time you're watching this, I've dropped on the ground already. The only thing that in my head is upsetting me about this outfit is I didn't have the rolly on, which is brown as well. I fumbled it, I fumbled it. The chocolate dial, I fumbled it. But we move, you know, we live and we learn. But it's little things like this. That make, listen, I cannot imagine what this outfit would have been with just that watch, you know what I'm saying? Not because the watch is expensive. It could have been any watch with Sprout. But it's just that watch. Right now, boys and girls, obviously I've shit showered and shaved. Do you know what I mean? and do a quick shopping trip before later on today I'm meeting my stylist Emery he said he's got some drip for me I said I'm tired of farming he said bro when you see this drip it's gonna be ridiculous I'm gonna do a little snapshot of what the fit is you're gonna see it later on anyway in the picture we managed to get out of it I'm with Mr Dennis here yes sir don't even know him like that but he just ended up in a cab yeah. right now I'm looking for a little simple tracksuit I'm looking for something like and essentials, proper plain, simple, but really interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of an essentials tracksuits, and I don't believe it justifies its 200, 300 pound price tag. So because of that, I'm trying to find some cheap drip, 20, 30 to 60 pound. I think it's brilliant for a plain tracksuit. More, Cause more time, so I think maybe Zara. Some, someone like Zara would be great or something like that. Maybe Primark, but I'm, I like Primark, but to say it, it's not durable, you know what I'm saying? Two, three washes, it looks like I've had the tracksuit for eight years, you know what I'm saying? That's my only issue with Primark. If that they didn't have that quality um, difficulty, I would more, more or less, you know, pay whatever. I wouldn't mind, but... <laughs> For whatever reason, people often these days believe good content creation is around looking perfect, being such an angel, being like everyone else, trying to fit in. Absolutely wrong. Key fundamentals of good content creation, at least in my opinion, is authenticity. Being yourself, being yourself unapologetically. Do you know what I mean? Everyone these days is more or less looking the same. And how on earth are you going to stand out if you're always trying to fit in? It's ridiculous. And I. It's so easy, but people just don't get it. People can read through fake internet personas. People can see that this isn't really you. So be yourself as much as you can. Consistency is also your best friend. It's important to become essentially unavoidable to the target market that you're trying to reach. The competition is heavy. I'll, I'll be honest with you. That's why you need to constantly create content. I'm not saying every hour or every day, but a couple times a week just so you're always in the eye of the viewer. Another little piece of advice I can give you is DM about 100 brands that you want to work with. At the end of the day, I'll be honest, only three might reply. But accepting rejection is all a part of success. Do you know what I mean? And remember, there's no loss in that situation if you get a no or reject it. There's only gain because if you get a no or no reply, you're in the same position you were before. But now that someone's replied, you're now being given an opportunity. There's only... Gain and absolutely no loss.
So when you go places like Zara, you get these hidden gems that you won't even see on their website. 90% of what I see in Zara, I've never seen on their website. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping that this music in the background will copyright me though. Where are the tracksuits though? I'm looking for that plain tracksuit. That cheeky, cheeky tracksuit. Where is it? Dennis, if you see it, let me know. You don't need, and that's what I'm saying in terms of content creation, you don't need an extravagant. With a grey tracksuit, you can create some magic. Look, let me just show you right now what I'm wearing. Look at this simple fit. It's a grey tracksuit with just a little bit of a hat, a little jacket, some nice little shoes. It really does the job. You don't need to overcome. We're in the changing room right now. I tried to get tracksuit. Um, I didn't like the tight fit. I wanted proper, like, relaxed, oversized. Because um, that's that's what I'm kind of going for. I've been very comfortable with oversized clothes. Also, me, clothes like double my size. I'm a skinny fella. You know what I'm saying? Um, so Dennis went to just get that for me, and we'll see how it's looking. But it's not the grey that I wanted. I wanted more of a washed, cloudy grey. Um, I feel like that's the kind of look we're going for recently, like the beige. There was no beige. I might try to find a beige one. Um, apart from that, give me two seconds. Before we come back. It's a lot of snow. There are no medium tops. Like the tops are small. Zara might have failed me today for the first time. Oh, guys. Guys, we're going to have to go somewhere else. Come, touched H&M. And as I thought, they did not disappoint. They've got the whole batch, and guess what? One whole tracksuit, 2498. Oh my God. 20, if I wanna get four tracksuits for 100 pound, you're telling me you can't drip under 100 pound, or you're an idiot. Listen too much Fredo and NSG, yeah. For the price of one tech fleece, I can get to eight tracksuits, all different colors. Yeah. I've got a beanie, two whole tracksuits, a couple boxes, a couple socks. What else did I get? Don't know. Don't know. Came to a grand total of 113 pound, 76 pence. Bearing in mind, one essentials tracksuit is how much? Just the top alone is about a hundred quid, one ten, I believe. A hundred quid, and I've got on two whole tracksuits plus little other literal essentials. This is a steal. This is what content creation is about. You want to create solid content. You don't have to break the bank. Don't be stupid and break the bank to look good on Instagram, mate. Follow David's tips and drip for less. Don't know if you lot can hear me. Well, right now we've got man like Eiffel Tower over there. I know where the French bear's at though. I don't know, shout out to my man behind. Um, what I've just realized as well, I was meant to be here for like a week. It's been cut short, because lockdown starts Friday. That means everything's shut. What's the point, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna have to go somewhere else, some different country. Because UK, I'm bored of you lot, I'm bored of you lot. Got no wife down there. I'm gonna try have a kid in France in the next 48 hours. Wish me luck. The drip is very subtle. The drip is very subtle. Let me, the drip is very subtle right now. And then we've got PSGs. However, I need to find, I've been told that there's Nike Tech fleece bottoms, the same color as the new PSG drop. So I'm gonna search for those now, slap them on, and I'm gonna once again make a Tech fleece look drippy. Oh, it's naughty. It is naughty. It is naughty. Who else but David to get the PSG in P? Ah, ha, ha. How can I go to Paris without the PSGs? It wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense. 
yes, whatever supplier to these, I'm gonna leave his details on that below. Um, don't know if I wanna give him away because I wanna buy all his stock, but at the same time, who knows? Um, no, let me support young businesses. But these bad boys, look, look. Cool. So the little dilemma that I have right now um, is I want I want to wear this, of course, French, French, you know. But at the same time, we're still thinking about content creation. Do you know what I'm saying? At all times, we want to create good content. And this that's something I've worn quite a few times, actually, which I never do. I never really wear stuff like more than once, you know what I'm saying? Um, majority of the clothes here I haven't worn all too many times. But when you go on a page like Instagram and you want to create the content, you can't be constantly wearing the same thing because nobody is going on Instagram to look at what they can do themselves. They want to look at something to motivate them, something to catch their attention, things they haven't seen before. So if you've worn um, a jacket four times, that individual's not engaging with it because they're bored, essentially. It's like, like imagine me releasing the same song five times, kind of thing. Um, so that's one fact you have to contribute and obviously it's difficult for um, everyone to constantly have new clothes every day but I've shown you examples that tracksuit there was about 45 50 pounds you know what I'm saying and I know a lot of you have designer tracksuits pomaders tracksuits essential tracksuits which is like four or five times that's four or five tracksuits is four or five pieces of good content you can create it's all about choice perspective and what you decide to do with what you have so I don't want to hear excuses or I don't have money and whatever, no. That's nothing to do with being money, it's with being creative, being resourceful. And that's that's a skill many of you lack. You go for convenience, spend that, oh uh, cool, have one track suit, take one picture in it, you're not posting for, for five weeks and you're complaining that you, your social media is not growing. And that's not my job to build people's social media, but I'm just giving advice on good content. And with good content, essentially comes maybe an audience see what I can wear and I'll get back to you lot see what I can wear I'm probably going to end up slapping on that French track so far let's see let's see good morning again this vlog has been a bit inconsistent due to I'm just trying to learn my way around Paris but obviously by now you've probably seen the bottoms I'm managing to get all the PSGs for us and um, I made tech fleece look driven. I know I did. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I've got one key credential right now for for my sneakerheads. Um, don't want to annoy. I don't really want to annoy anyone right now. But like, you know what I mean? Just crease them bad boys, man. Like shoes. One thing I'm gonna teach you is shoes. Shoes are meant to be worn. Do you understand what I'm saying? They look a bit white here, but they're a bit yellowish. That was the original colour anyway, they were white and yellowish, but they're not as clean as they could be. But the one thing you need to understand is shoes are meant to be worn. My favourite trainers, for example, the rookies of the years, Jordan 1 rookie of the years, they are my favourite trainer. This is my favourite sneaker, trainer, whatever you like to call it. I damaged this trainer. Take a look. I damaged this trainer. Crazy stuff. Because, you know, it gives it personality, style with age, trainers like these. And obviously, a lot of people will tell you don't crease a Jordan 1. Why? Because they probably wear Jordan 1 mids. And the leather in mids and highs... OGs are completely different, do you understand what I'm saying? So this creases and it looks all right, or sometimes they just about crease, but a mid will crease easily and look horrible because it's the same lever as an Air Force One, which is not really like a, you know what I'm saying? But it's like trainers like these, it gives a personality, a little scratch there, oh, when I did that, oh, a little crease there, oh, when I did that, and it, and it builds character to a trainer. It makes you look a lot better, in my opinion, at least, than like, tip top trying to look perfect fake insta personality shoe that's what i think when 
I see a train that just looks perfect, then I know you're just wearing it on special occasions. I know you're not a, really a sneakerhead like that because you're, we all like clean trainers, like a pair of trainers I can't, can't have dirty, it's a pair of Air Force ones, you know what I'm saying? Um, or whatever, I'm not saying fucking paint your trainers or whatever, or take them mountain, like, but don't be scared to add a little wear and tear to a trainer, you know what I mean? It's a fucking shoe, it's meant to be worn. Jesus.